Hi everyone, so in this video, video three, is about nutrition and, Im and immunity. So what is the immune system? The immune system is our body's defence against diseases and infections. So if our immune system isn't working properly, we will probably pick up lots of different conditions and illnesses and things like that. So remember, we need an healthy, balanced diet with a variety of foods from the main food groups, which we discussed in the previous video. These can help your body function properly. So it's about staying healthy and making sure that we do not give ourselves the processed foods. So making sure that you make foods from scratch. Do you, do you still make your foods from scratch? I do. Um, I don't do... I do I really don't do processed foods as much. I used to do, don't get me wrong, but over the last two years, maybe coming into three years, I have made sure that I have actually cooked from scratch everything I do. So what I thought I would do is I, reckon I will talk about how things can help you. So ginger, do you like ginger? Because ginger has been proven scientifically to say it appears to be safe and its effects are mighty and amazing as many applications in many of its applications it can treat a wide range of diseases via immuno nutrition and anti-inflammatory responses it reduces the muscle pain after intense physical activity it can prevent various cancers and in various ways inhibiting cell cycle regeneration as well so it's absolutely amazing it can improve cardiovascular disease disorders diabetes, mellitus and gastrointestinal health immune system boosting. Now, I, feel, I remember a few years ago that I was talking to somebody and he was a window cleaner and he actually said that he had ginger on his breakfast every morning. He would make sure that he'd put some on so that his body was, so that he didn't get the arthritis in his fingers. So, and I, I must admit, I put it on, I have in lots of my foods. I'm just talking to you now and I've really thought, I've not put it on my breakfast cereal for a while so I will be doing that to make to make sure that I'm getting it down me on a daily basis I do use the root ginger when I'm doing cooking rather than doing the powdered ginger but I think I will start just reminding myself that I will put powdered ginger on my breakfast cereal so as I have explained I am not perfect and when I do these videos, I find it quite useful because it actually prompts me to remember to do things myself. Now, turmeric. Do you use turmeric in your cooking? I do. And it is absolutely brilliant for boosting your immune system. It also blocks formations of no carcinogens and helps with depression. So it helps that it's like an antidepressant, but it works better. Let me just have a look what it says. But research has been, it's been mixed, still worth trying. Okay, so and else with antidepressant, it helps with depression, but we need to make sure use it. But the research hasn't shown that it, sometimes it can do, sometimes it can't do. But it can help with type two diabetes. Studies have shown that it helps reduce the blood sugars. So again, if you're getting, if you've been told that you're borderline diabetic, add turmeric to your diet and see if it helps you reduce your blood sugars. Also, like if you reduce reduce your weight around your waist, that can also help you reduce your chances of developing diabetes. Now, one interesting fact is actually if you add black pepper to turmeric, it boosts it 2000 times better absor absor absorption. So adding a little bit of black pepper to it will boost the boost the way it works. So, which I didn't actually know till I started looking into this. But I thought, oh, that's interesting. So. 2,000 times more absorption if you actually add black pepper to it. So have a go at doing that. I will be doing it to my meals. Adding turmeric and ginger to your diet is highly recommended. Lots of benefits and it adds taste to your food as well. How much do you drink during the day? Now I know, I think today I've not quite had enough to drink yet. So I will be making myself a brew after I've done this video. I will be having a turmeric cup of tea. So I make sure I have a, I do have drink turmeric tea uh, as well as having it to my diet and adding it to my food. Now you should drink six to eight drinks a day. So we have to be aware that our body is made up of 70% of water and to allow our body to function effectively, we need to make sure that we keep enough fluids in our body. If we get dehydrated, this can cause us to have headaches, poor concentration and a dry mouth. Now, I know that I've got a bit of an headache, so I actually think I need, I obviously need to increase my 
water intake. And as I've explained, I am not perfect. And these are the things they do come to light. And it's a case of us learning from what we're, what we're doing. So I will be getting a drink when we get off this, this video. When the video, when the body releases, the more that more water is required, the kidneys reduce the amount of water in our urine. So, yeah, if our body needs water, it's going to come away from the kidneys. If it comes away from the kidneys and it goes to the rest of our body, what happens is our urine is going to go darker. So if our urine goes darker, that tells us that we're dehydrated because our urine should be a clear yellow colour. It shouldn't be dark orange, it shouldn't be dark brown, it should be light. So if you look at your urine, if your urine's light, a light colour, you, you will be getting, you, you, it should show that you're getting enough fluid down you. If it starts going too dark, then you need to increase your fluid intake. And remember, the more the warmer it is, the more fluid we need. And that's why I'm realising that actually today it started off quite dull, but actually now it's quite warm and quite sunny. So I obviously need to increase the fluid I'm doing. You require, but be aware that alcoholic drinks have the opposite effect. They are not fluid. Yes, they are like fluid, but they dehydrate because they, are, they have a diuretic effect. Okay, so make sure that alcohol is not part of your fluid intake. It's got to be water's best one, okay? So water's the best one. I actually have bottled water, but glass bottled water rather than plastic bottled water. But it's about making sure that you drink enough water. Even having coffee or cat with any or tea, that can actually be a di. That's not going to help you as much as what water will do. Can you drink too much water? It's possible, but very rare. It's unlikely under normal circle, normal conditions. But it's happened when people follow extreme detox programs. So be conscious about how much water six to eight glasses tumblers six to eight tumblers we've got to drink okay so when taking part in physical activity as well increase your fluid intake to replace the fluid that you've lost and be aware of the, the following when choosing the drinks be aware of the caffeine intake sugar increases the calorie content low sugar it's an interesting one they throw because it's low sugar they throw in other things in and you might drink more of it as well because you're thinking it's low sugar. So I might, oh, I can have another one. And before you know it, that is when we are developing, we're putting that weight on because it's actually storing, because it's like a process thing. We are storing it around our waist. So it's being conscious about what you're drinking. Fruit juice. Yes, we think it's for, we think it's healthy for us. We think that actually, oh, well, fruit juice is really healthy. I'll give you the fruit juice. And what they do is, Actually, it's broken down, no fibre, so it's pure sugar you're drinking. We should only be having one glass of fruit juice. And when I say one glass, not a big glass like that, it's got to be a tum like a little tumbler, no bigger, because we don't want to be drinking pure sugar. Milk, but be aware of the saturated fats in it, okay? Water's a good choice, but be conscious about where the water is, where the water's coming from. Remember, you need six to eight tumblers of water a day. So I hope you found that useful. Any information, if you want some advice or some support to help you change your diet, change your nutrition, how you manage your nutrition. What we have to be aware of as well is that sometimes we get into behaviours for eating. And as long as we, we can be conscious of the foods we eat and we eat the healthy foods, then we should be okay but it's when we go when we are emotionally attaching to foods to emotional attachment we can end up eating the wrong foods and also if you allow if you don't eat regular enough you can get hungry so what happens is your body craves food so it will send you to eat the wrong kind of food and if you are going shopping i would always recommend filling your stomach before you actually go shopping because then you won't buy the wrong foods. If you eat a meal before you actually go shopping, you will actually eat, you will eat more or shop more healthily. It's all, when you are hungry, you will just buy and crave for the things which are not right for you.
if that makes sense. So making sure that you have little meals regular, okay, is better than actually going a long period of time without food. I hope you found that useful. If you want any information, please feel free to comment on the video or even message me on my on direct. I will speak to you soon. Look out for the next video. See you soon. Bye.